Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to my channel. My name is Denise Yul Torres. This is my second chance with the new vision. If this is your first time on my channel, guys, I hope you like the content. I hope you subscribe and I hope you come back. If you like the video, I am blind. I lost my vision when I was 16. If you want to know more about that story, man, you can watch more videos or purchase my book, My Second Chance with a New Vision on Amazon. And to all those returning subscribers, guys, I really appreciate you for the constant support. I'm, I'm always going to appreciate you guys, you know, for taking time to watch my videos and all that good stuff. Don't forget, as long as you are breathing, you have a second chance to change your life if you don't like where you at right now in your life and like y'all see in the title man um i was going through some videos and i ran into this and this uh there was this um like data showing or this record or i don't know how to put it how many people have died of overdose since they have or the, since they begin tracking you know the deaths and again it uh where my understanding i it began in the 90s like when the opioid epidemic started but you know nowadays is a little bit about that and of course with fentanyl and all that stuff that's going on how many people have overdosed of you know over 20 years or you can say 30 years if it began in the 90s but either i honestly don't remember which year but let's say around 20 to the 25 years you know, over 1 million people just in the United States, don't think all over the world, just in the United States, uh, that record uh, that they have done keeping or, you know, tracking how many people have died yearly. Up to now, it's been 1 million people, over 1 million people. That's just people that have died taking the drug. But, you know, what I was thinking also, man, you can't forget the people that have... Uh, been victims because of the drugs or because of people on drugs because don't quote me on this but i remember reading something that like it was like 75 percent or something it was like over 50 percent of people that got arrested were under the influence of one type of drug and i'm not saying that in many cases that has to do with it but in some cases, man, I honestly do believe that, you know, drug would make a drug would make it easier to um, do certain type of crimes. Or if you are in need of, you know, getting your high or anything else, man. And like I said, I am a motivational speaker and a drug activist and especially with the teens and the youth, you know, and this is uh, one of those videos, man, that, uh, it's like stats like this that we should show our kids, our teenagers, whatever type of age, not whatever, but, you know, I think in the middle school, it specifically started from there. Stats like this, that's what they need to see, man, that, you know, these streets are no jokes. I always tell my, you know, the the youth and even my daughters that these, these this stuff is no joke, man. The streets are not joke. You know, my, my, my nephews and all that stuff, man, these streets are no jokes. Uh... It might seem like it's you know it's easy and all that good stuff and that it might sound or look enticing, but if you have been there, nothing like that is not nothing inter interesting. And if you do like a, a math, a slight little math, you can say it's over like mm, let's say if in twenty years, it's fifty thousand people die of overdose a year in the United States. You know what I mean? That's 50,000 families that get affected every year because, you know, pills, synthetic drugs, and all that other stuff, man. Um, and I don't know, man. I don't know if you heard this or have you heard this or even paid attention to it. And like I always say in my other videos, man, this is not just one person like me or people like us talk on YouTube about this or even going to schools, man. This is more about a community uh, community type of stuff that we need to go and, you know, hit directly in the streets and go out and talk to people. And because honestly, it's, I always say that, man, if all of us that have been in situations like this, uh, that had to do with certain stuff like this, man, 
if we go back out there and um or even tell somebody our story or try to prevent somebody from going that 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 same road that that we have went through man we can save a lot of lives because you know uh some of the things have to do with emotional you know how people get involved and in, you know with drugs or alcohol or any stuff so some of the times they have to do because of they have pain and you know they just get hooked up with that but we all have stories for each there there's many people like me that even before me that have a story just like mine or similar to to, to mine that could probably help out people of my generation and that's what i'm trying to do help out younger generation for they can help out other generations and you know just like that little domino effect because you never know how many people or what person you can help out that can change many many um lives in this world and it's just crazy like i always say man you know uh that that uh how why i understand the why because i was there now now i'm not saying i used to do any type of hard um drug or nothing like that but i i i was uh doing certain stuff that probably at my age uh, i i will shouldn't start what i shouldn't have done or sh because you know i was just young and you know when you're young you think that a lot of things are cool but that's a different type of story man and and some of our videos i touch on it and like on this sometimes i don't like to re derail from the conversation or the topic but i have to but i don't try to do it as much or try to make it all all about me but however my this channel is basically more about my thoughts and my experience because i don't like talking about stuff that if i haven't been through it or i heard about it personally man or seen somebody go through it personally i really don't like talking about it because you really don't have an opinion and you really don't know how it feels to be in that position or if you don't have you know one sense to talk about it you know i always if i if i can and if i think i know I always like talking about it. If I really don't know and I don't really have understanding of it, I really don't talk about stuff because it's pointless to me. You know what I mean? So, man, it's just crazy, man. So, if you have somebody that is doing substances and has substance problems, man, uh, try to help them out and encourage them to get help. Or even if you are one of those people that are getting um involved in, you know, substances or that you think you not have problems and man get help and i'm gonna do another video man of what how or i think wh when is the time to get help and what's the difference man between having fun and not having fun and when it's over the board because like i said i'm very open-minded and i've I grew up in a generation where i saw a lot of things get done and i saw when it was too much and when people can't uh was just doing it for fun so hey man don't forget like subscribe share my content and anything else you want to know about my life, how it is being blind and how I do stuff and all that good stuff, man. <laughs> like always, man, I appreciate you. Leave it down in the comments below. If you like the topic, leave me a comment. And if you don't, and if you want, if you want to suggest me something, man, also do that. Do that. Do that. Don't be scared or don't be afraid to answer nothing, man. Answer. Ask anything. <laughs> you know what I mean, man? Because honestly, I'm not those type of people that get offended as easily as what y'all think or I, mean, I like people when they come to me and ask me questions and you know have a conversation and like i say man i want to do interviews here too so hopefully man um this year i can start doing that and i've been saying that since the beginning but i just need to get the tech not, not the text i need to get the persons and all that stuff together man I, like i told you guys i'm gonna make a great channel for you an interesting channel for you guys, like I said, you want to purchase my book, you want to donate to my channel, everything is in the description box below. All my information, guys. God bless you guys. I am out. And peace.